how the body is involved in orgasm. My research looks at the physical stimulation required for orgasm. I compare men and women's use of physical stimulation techniques. There is zero debate over the male anatomy involved in male orgasm. But which part of her body does a woman stimulate for orgasm? The debate over the anatomy involved in female orgasm indicates the lack of understanding over how and when women orgasm. Anyone who knows how to orgasm knows what anatomy they need to stimulate. Responding to intercourse. Men use sex as a means of obtaining emotional acceptance or approval. Naturally, they hope that women can enjoy intercourse as much as they do. Equally, a man appreciates a lover who provides him with turn-ons, such as assisting with his fantasy of arousing a woman through intercourse. Unfortunately, no one can evolve sexual responses just to please a lover. We only evolve characteristics that we need for survival and for reproduction. It is only with men that women are assumed to want vaginal stimulation. During masturbation, or when they are with another woman, women focus on the clitoris. So why is female arousal so mysterious? Any woman who masturbates, to orgasm that is, knows that the clitoris is the source of her orgasm. So why doesn't clitoral stimulation work as easily with a lover? The confusion arises because women are not spontaneously aroused, so they don't approach sex with the same genital focus that men have. Kinsey found that only 20% of women masturbate regularly, but masturbation is much too taboo among women to be this common. There is no magic button. Sherry Height's work confirmed Kinsey's finding that women orgasm most reliably when masturbating. But she noted that clitoral stimulation was much less effective with a lover. Although 82% of women in Height's samples said they masturbated, only 44% could orgasm using manual stimulation of the clitoris with a lover, and only 42% could orgasm through oral sex. So evidently, clitoral stimulation does not, by itself, guarantee orgasm. There is a tremendous heterosexual bias in favour of the vagina. Andrea Burry carried out research at King's College in London in 2010. She asked over 3,000 women to confirm the G-spot, but her study concluded that the G-spot did not exist. The findings appeared in the Journal of Sexual Medicine in 2010, yet they have had little impact compared with the original theory. Burry comments, the mysterious G-spot, I found it irresponsible to claim the existence of an entity that has never been proven using, in some cases, a cohort of just 30 women worldwide. 